This morning, we're learning more about a shooting that involves a Tampa police officer. Officers just released this ring camera video. It's footage of a man banging on doors. Police also just released body cam footage of when they showed up and the man pointed a gun at an officer. That's where 8 on your size Nico Clemens picks up the story. And he's live. Hey, it showed that video that was just released. Sorry about that. That's Nico. right. Yeah, they, that, that video. No worries. That video that was just released uh, an hour ago, just like you all mentioned, shows that man who we now know as 28 year old Jeremy Luag upstairs trying to get someone to come out of their home. It later shows police talking with Luag, him walking, trying to go back inside of his home. Police say the entire time he's holding a gun behind his back. Oh, I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. People living in the Bowery Bayside by Cortland Apartment Complex are feeling a bit uneasy after a shooting in their usually safe neighborhood, and it's all caught on police body-worn video. I've never had anything like this happen, so it was a little shocking. Tampa police got a call Monday night that a man was banging on doors and yelling. Officers were told the man had a gun on him, too. Police looked at a neighbor's ring camera video and identified the man as Jeremy Loag. In the video, you can hear Luag talking to someone who is inside the apartment. Police say when they went to Luag's apartment to check on him, Luag raised his gun towards officers, forcing one of the officers to shoot him. Claire McMahon was in bed when she said she heard several pops. At the time, I honestly thought someone was knocking on my door. That's how close it was to me. McMahon lives in the building where the shooting happened. She opened her door to see what was going on. There is a cop running down the stairs, and he's like, ma'am, get inside your apartment and lock your door. So obviously I did that. And Police say Luag should survive. McMahon says this was a first in her neighborhood, and she hopes it's the last. I was, you know, scared for my safety at the time. So I did what he told me to do, and I went back inside. That officer who shot Luag is now on administrative leave. Police say the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is now investigating the shooting. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.